I was reading an article yesterday on the ABC titled, Chroming Will Dissolve the Brain Like Melting Plastic, Experts Warn Amid Resurgence, about the recent spate of solvent misuse by young children in Australia. But one thing that I found particularly funny about the article was the picture they supplied. Apparently in the UK, cans of deodorant etc. have to have a warning label on them stating, solvent abuse can kill instantly, with two lightning bolts on either side. That's not the funny part. Despite it being potentially lethal, the next label states, suitable for vegetarians. What? They're either saying that vegetarians are immune to the effects of solvent abuse, or it's okay if vegetarians put their lives at risk by misusing deodorant. Which is it? Okay, okay, kidding aside, obviously it's just an inappropriately placed label. I guess they mean their product doesn't contain any animal products, or it's not tested on animals. But then, if that's what they mean, they should write that. As a vegetarian myself, I always thought that vegetarianism was a dietary choice. Surely vegetarian labels should only be applied to food. This is just another example of labelling gone mad. Another example that comes to mind is the labelling of canned fish in Australia, and elsewhere. My wife eats salmon and was surprised to find out that canned salmon actually contains fish. Yes, it's true. My question, if someone is smart enough to be able to read the warning label, then surely they're also smart enough to know that salmon is a type of fish. At least, my four-year-old daughter seems to understand that. And just one more, water. Yes, apparently Aldi's natural spring water is suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Geez, really? I thought spring water came from pig's testicles. What do you think? Has food labelling gone mad? Are we living in the age of stupid?